everybody, I am Sacred, thank you for joining me and let's continue our let's play as the United States of America. Currently, let's see, well, like that, it would seem like we aren't that big, but if you look into Asia, alright, we control part of Japan, China got quite strong, we see. We control, well, this part as well, we control islands in the whole Pacific, Actually, China does do it as well, yes so. But if you look onto here, yeah, we have a province here, three provinces there, Republic of Thailand, that's all alright. But here, yeah, if we look into Europe now, we see nearly all of Germany is a part of the United States. Uh, Hungary is, well, weird, we got this province, which, because we could take it, we got these provinces here from Romania. This one, we got, well, Bulgaria is one small province now. And, well, that's how it looks like. We got, well, um, the main industrial regions of Africa. How, uh, of Africa, I mean. Of Italy, here you can see. And, well, in Africa, we got also colonies here. We got the former colonies of, well, uh, it Italy, I'd say. Yeah. Or the, the Kingdom of Libya now is, well, free. And, well, we could just... Uh, continue the game, but we would win already because we have the, like so many points already controlled by the access by the allies. Sorry, but we don't want to do. We don't want to be that boring, do we? What we want is we wanted to invade the Soviet Union. I am currently shipping in my troops in, into Europe, and we are set up and f uh, launch a full-scale invasion of the Soviet Union. Yep, is it correct? A full scale invasion of the Soviet Union. We have one free port, here we go and just build that out in mind. But we have unfulfilled import requests. That's weird though. Well. No idea why, let's cancel that. Now it's going alright. You're missing well carrier fighters. I don't care because we won't go for carriers anyways. Well you can stay there I guess. I don't really mind. We have 120 T uh, 20 T and <laughs> 22 divisions in Europe already. Now let's check about Japan, they are getting shipped into Europe. They as well and they as well. Yeah, they're on the wall all on the Y into Europe. This as well. These two. These two. So, ladies and gentlemen, get ready for the American or perhaps Allied uh, Soviet war because I think the British should join us as well. So we should have a naval uh, superiority straight away, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we. Wow, well, we need to research our doctrine. Look how far we lag behind. Wow. So let's. I don't know. Integrated support, line up there, we'll go for, oh we have a transport, oh we got one more achievement, what is it? Ah oh, yeah, we have at least 1000 convoys. Uh, the game just lagged. Let's speed up by one actually. Let's see how strong we are in terms of, yeah. The UK, they are about 7,500. We have only 3,700. The UK, really. And that although they have only uh, 83 military and only 83 civilian factories. We have way more. I think that fleet should be enough already to knock the Soviet out. Yeah, we go there as well. We need resources, what do we need steel? Yeah, um, here, France. Damn, well, France has lots of steel. Let's check actually where they get the steel from. Um, wrong map mode here, this is map mode. Oh, they have plenty, yeah. 
at home actually. We have 236 here in Alsus. That explains some, I'd say. Uh, why do we get none here? What? We have so much steel though, but the problem is we're not getting any. Oh, it's blocked. Deliver blocked. Ah, oh, because it's like a cut off province, is it? Yeah. Yeah. We have so many resources there, but it's just cut off because, well, it's cut off, I guess, yeah. Well, nothing to change about that. Now we know though that well resources are cut off if you don't control the land path uh, towards it. That's well we know that now. For sure. Let's go ahead and improve I'll say if we don't meet the radar. Yeah. Experimental rockets. We'll drop our first atomic bombs on I'd say Moscow. Poor Russians. World tension. Oh, Soviet Union declared war to the state of Japan. Do they want to invade Japan? I mean, they don't control much, do they? Poor Japanese. The South Korea. They have one factory. That's, well, <laughs> not that much. What do we need? We need aluminium. Let's get some from uh, Norway. Yeah, we are saving up to enact stricter manpower policies. We need more aluminium. We'll just get, let's say, three at once here. You assassinate group 4. What are you doing? I'd say that you should control the VCs. Yeah. The problem is that he doesn't have a commander. Well, I don't mind. Actually, remember the civil war breakout? Do they still have the modifier? Yeah, communist uprisings. Well, we are boosting popularity of the China Democratic League, which I well think though is might be not necessary. Well, what the communists should do actually, they should boost their popularity down in China to get some states. Oh, we need to just. So we just keep needing a aluminium. We will. Yeah. Research road. We can build our first reactor soon. Soon. The ships. Actually, let's see. Most of them arrived. If lads alive, they are still on the way. Because to alright, if they all alive arrive, I will combine them into one army to see with actually how much well, units I deal with. Uh, I'm just also well, I'm just building more and more divisions as well. Here, let's get our air wings actually organized now. Time for that. Here, I called quite a bit into Brandenburg. Let's open the airfield there. Let's combine all of these into one. All of these into one as well. Fighters, we can combine them into one as well. Hello, fellas, cross air sport, naval bomber. That's alright. Where's my 1k? In Champagne. Yeah. 
Yeah, every, every single unit there, naval bomber in Hawaii, Hawaii. Yeah, go to Warsaw. Every naval bomber goes to Warsaw. Uh. And, uh, I want to see the peace treaty, how it like, uh, looks like Poland. They are allied, well, we might give the Poles some chance actually. To, I would say, well, get some land back. Yeah, here they are eastern lands. These lots, I think, yeah, they have claims on it. Transport, I don't need these. Heavy fighters, spread book, champagne, champagne, champagne. Going to there as well. Uh, these can stay there on the carriers. Okay, let's call them all to the European theater. Yeah, we'll have how many units to deal with the Soviets? We'll have 235. The Soviets have although 244 of the 747. That's well, more than us, but we'll take it. Uh, we'll have air superiority as well, and we won't run out of manpower. So, in that situation, won't be, won't be a problem. Let's get all of these here quite laggy though actually let's uh, wait until he arrives yeah. alright 235 divisions under one army we will uh, split it well into four army groups I think so the yeah, AI won't get overwhelmed with it that's what we're gonna do. We have 21 infantry divisions there actually as well. Seven motorized. Yeah, I'll call all of you here. Uh, we need no defense, I would say, at home. It's not like they are gonna invade us, is it? And we have a fleet here deploying as well. Yeah, well, I'm halfway. Yeah, I gotta patrol these regions. Yeah, I would say goodbye soon, Soviet Union. Alright, first off here, yeah, we have really a lot of expeditionary divisions as well. But what we'll do is, we'll cut them first by half to create a new army. Let's name this army uh, Leningrad Front, Leningradian Front, because it will go to Leningrad. Here, Dwight the Eisenhower. Let's say around this province. We assigned to. Actually, no, no, it's wrong. I need to cut them by half again, then. Cut them by half again. Create an army and cut them by half. Again, uh, again, and create a new army. Let's get this out of here because it didn't arrive yet. So let's go up there. This will name the uh, first Moscovian front. First Moscovian front. You will get. Field Marshal Douglas MacArthur. Yeah, now you can cover the front we assigned to you. I will cover the front line. And you will cover that front line.
and oh, I see the problem here. You'll cover outside at front line. We'll name you Ukrainian front. Uh, Ukrainian front. Uh, there are some units uh, which aren't, <laughs> which are struggling to get there. I see. Yeah, these lads here. Yeah, we Leningrad in front. How the Nems has will go and seize control of Leningrad and its outskirts. So let's say like that here. Not more like that. Yeah. Let's see its path. Could be better though, could be better. I should be alright though. And the first Moscovian front, uh, like the NAM says, will go and seize control of Moscow. Or oh, quite a bit. The problem is, yeah, I need to define its border different here. Because they shouldn't go to the other line as well. So, like that. Uh, like that, a huge one, then deck again. Let's check, it should be alright. Yeah, we are currently still repairing buildings, so we can't modify that, I'd say. I'd say because Moscow is a huge is our main objective uh, that can get the uh, well, two times amount but twice amount of divisions actually we needed to send these lads here over as well they can't depart why aren't they they should be able to, should they? Shouldn't they? Yeah, they should. Yeah, they can go there, for example. Well, okay. Ukraine in front. to see that Mexico also joined us. The front line will be quite easy like that. You won't go in the starting grid yet. Yeah, I reassembled actually. No, I'm not still satisfied with that front line. Yeah, you will, let's say, push in like that first. Not in the Crimea yet. The Ukrainian front will get. Mm, 
with this guy in the fourth arm will actually go to the West Corbin front. There will be a big front here. That means I need to assign more units to that. Which th uh, they are getting moved on already here. Yeah, let's improve our doctrine. It's getting improved artillery. I'm to improve that. Research. Um, I can go for night vision. Maybe maybe that infantry anti tank. Yeah. We have no focus set, no problem because we want to change this to uh, service by requirement. No, we need steel. They have steel. Yeah, we're getting 320 steel, 320 steel from the USA. Insane amount. Let's get our air superiority up against Slovia while they are still getting prepared. Here, yeah, our growth of superiority first in the Baltic states with that. With 1,000 fighters in Eastern Poland, and let's say with 384 fighters, should we go there first? Yeah, I'll send them actually all to Poland. They shouldn't was then back. We can select Emilia Earnhardt, which will do to our 1k fighter stack here. 1k, you hear it correct? If 1 goddamn k, uh, you will get this one. Go for S priority interception, S priority interception. If 1k is too much, let's cut it by half. Yeah, you will cut our territory here. Alright, war is coming to a close. Now we need to justify war goal. Here, yeah, I'd say uh, we'll just do a quick war goal that we only want to conquer Moscow if we can. Uh, Moscow, yeah. Our fleet here will go for search and destroy in the Baltic Sea. I don't think they will be there actually, so I guess only there should be alright. Um, yeah. Actually, no, no. They are doing a different job. They are coasting the coast of Japan. Let's not call them away. Out of there. Alright then. The war... Our front line is defined already. Front line's activated. Our nukes, well, are not ready yet. Because we need to repair the things we got, which will take quite a time. Actually, I can perhaps queue that in. Uh, we'll queue it here into Arizona. Actually, I need these first, so I will put them on top. Take some time to put it. 
first line. Let's go, 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 go. All right, you too. Go, go, go. <laughs> Taking some time though. Yeah, let's get the atomic bombs right in the belt. Yeah, the six reactors are getting built now. Which is, well, a considerably good amount. Because the Soviets will have, I think, a quite high, uh, what was it again? Country thingy, so they will only surrender, I think, if they attack them in the east. But if I drop a nuke on the capital before I capture it, they should lower their, well, willingness to resist and increase their surrender rate, I'd say. There we go. Atomic reactors are getting built. Probably done in May 1943. European theater. Well. Our armies are on point, our air force isn't fully ready yet though, well, let's get them ready. They'll stand by, have a job. Krakow will go for what I have as priority above the Western Poland, Eastern Poland, I like it about Ukraine. You will be sent to the uh, Western Balkans then. Are they arrived? Let's check our other air units. Uh, naval bomber, they're all in Warsaw, unassigned. Heavy fighters as well in Ostpreußen in Warsaw. Let's call you into Warsaw. Yeah, let's get all naval bomber onto one. To one group here, heavy fighters as well. There we go. You will assist us. Uh, tactical bombers, no need yet. Although strategic bombers, no. They will stand by. Where's our close air support? Actually, close air supports. Don't have so many though, and it's quite out of date as well. You will just bomb the enemy planes. Yeah. As priority. Warsaw, Eastern Poland, I see. Uh, I bet you're in Champagne. Not good. Let's call you into Western Poland as well. Uh, you lot into Western Poland. Yeah, you too. All right. Let's check. They have a total amount of planes of 2,000 up to 10,000. I have 3,700. If they have 10,000, I don't know what to say then. Yes, how can they have such a huge amount? Yeah. We need to crush the Soviets. They are not here. Re why are they still pre preparing? Let's see why though. Oh, they should be ready. They are ready for a long time, aren't they? Are they not on path? To the disadvantage, uh, they are still preparing you. Inferior enemy, you have the ability to, I guess, yeah, inferior enemy. And so, ladies and gentlemen, the war will trigger soon. Soon enough, I can tell you all that. Should we send these units there into. Yeah. You need to go to import, then, I think. Yeah. To import. You need every single unit. So. With every single, I mean every single unit, there's no exception. Oh, you will go all the way here, alright, if you want that. Right, 
we have enough points to uh, enact these service by requirements in order to be able to fight the Soviet Union as the ally so Operation Unthinkable will happen because the Soviets didn't have us in our war effort they just turned it back and the writers for once had to lose well and now they and now they will be the losing side there's no doubt about that there's a lot of well, plenty of units there though I might need to reinforce what the fuck UK where are they stacking these units How many divisions? Well, they have so much. From where do they get all that manpower from? I'm asking myself. Probably some X. No, I don't want to click the airfield. Come on. Oh, I want to click the country, then I click the airfield. They have 369. Not bad. Not bad. We have 1,400 plants in reserve. 1,400. I don't know what to say. Now let's uh, create two two new airlines then of 700 each. Well. Let's wait until they come and let's wait until we got our war justification against the Soviet Union. We are, it's a, it will take, uh, in the 21st April we'll have it, so let's actually speed up and just sit back and relax. Because, well, we have nothing else to do, do we? China. Out of mind here, our cancel it. We communists should take care of that, not me. Well, if the communists are too dumb to uh, to just increase the popularity of the communists in China, in nationalist China, then I can't help them out. They also left the faction, they were in the United Chinese Front, but now it seems like they aren't anymore. Which is well. Alright. Here, yeah, let's check the factions may both me meanwhile. The Allies control most of the world. Here, yeah, most of America. Actually, we wanted to get, I think, Brazil, perhaps in. Well, we, here we don't need them. Well, he has 14 up to divisions. No faction. They are democratic, though, but they uh, don't want to join the allies. Check Peru. Yeah. Well, the American influence is way, uh, working quite well, I mean to say, extremely well, actually. We got the uh, rocket engines research. Oh, we cannot de deploy nuclear bombs yet because uh, we lack the technology to be able to deploy that. Well, we can increase our encryption and decryption. So we'll have a... I think it gives us a better defense than if I'm not mistaken, though. Our army, two million strong, 39 divisions here are ready to get shipped into Europe, which they will, into Prussia. My ships are mainly on duty, on patrol, that's nice. Green. <laughs> they are green. They are in low supply actually. Maybe because they are stacked so much across the front, I see. Although not many of them, that shouldn't be a problem. Then I will assign these troops there to the uh, Leningrad in front because these lads over there are on low supply already. Well, we might lose some land in the Ukrainian front, but I really don't care if you lose that. We can just push above them. Uh, export. 
We need more of you. Let's actually get some from the Netherlands. With all. Here. Uh, we finished researching our artillery. Let's go ahead and improve it. After all. Republic of Guatemala joined the allies. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, we truly uh, question the motives of the Soviet Union. Oh, People's Republic of China joined the comment down. That changes things actually up quite a bit. Alright, we need... Never mind, we need democratic sport in China. We surely need that. Yeah, let's go ahead. And one point five per day. If I would improve the uh, Democratic Party, it would give me all point oh five per day. Uh, perhaps I can do that there and there to ease our war efforts actually. Still getting alright, 1.05. Yeah. Certification is done soon. After some more months. Then we'll go into war with the Soviet Union. And I hope that the Frenchmen and the rest etc. will join us. Uh, they are taking attrition because uh, I see they are in the mountains. Uh, do we have a supply map mode here actually? Like, we don't. Unfortunately. Uh, one thing though, the AI is alright, good and smart. It's a supply area. Uh, it's because of that. I uh, I have not enough fuel. Yeah, we get one spot available, and our integrated spot is done now. Let's go ahead and improve our doctrine. We are late on it. And with that one here we can go get night vision. Combat unit destruction. Ability plus 20%. Well, that's showing not bad. Can go ahead and get uh, uh, ground spot, air superiority, yeah, air spot. What's the air spot here? Done really soon. Actually, before we take them, before we are getting done completely and starting our war against the Soviet Union, well, I want to take a cut here. So, thank you all for joining. I hope you like that. Stay tuned in for our war, our American Soviet war, which in, of course will come out triumphant. So, in that case, I uh, thank you all for watching. I'll figure it and I'm out.